Hi, I'm Luke Watkins, one of the senior parathyroid surgeons at the Norman Parathyroid Center. We're going to be talking about parathyroid disease, what it is, how it can affect you, how it's treated, and the importance of early treatment. Parathyroid disease is a malfunction of the parathyroid glands, and there can be several different types. The most common is primary hyperparathyroidism, which is a condition where the parathyroid glands overproduce parathyroid hormone, which leads to an excess calcium level in the blood. This can cause problems with the bones, the kidneys, the heart, cause problems like kidney stones, high blood pressure, and reflux, and cause significant symptoms including problems with energy, mood, sleep, focus, concentration, and memory, among others. Primary hyperparathyroidism can be diagnosed using blood tests, specifically calcium and parathyroid hormone. In almost all cases, if both of these numbers are elevated outside the normal range, it's primary hyperparathyroidism. Diagnosis is usually pretty simple and straightforward, but in some cases it can be a little bit complicated, which is why so many patients are undiagnosed or told that they have something else that's causing their problems. Now, over time, elevated calcium and elevated parathyroid hormone levels can cause many problems. Together, they can damage the bones, leading to osteoporosis and eventually fractures. They can damage the kidneys, leading to chronic kidney disease and eventually kidney failure. And they can damage the heart, leading to poor cardiac function and cardiac rhythm abnormalities. The elevated calcium levels in your blood can also cause symptoms such as fatigue, sleep issues, brain fog like memory problems, concentration issues, and problems with focus, mood disorders such as anxiety, depression, and irritability, problems with muscle aches, muscle pain, abdominal pain, constipation, among many other symptoms. Over time, these symptoms can worsen as the calcium levels increase, as well as the damage done to the bones, kidneys, and heart progressing over time. When it comes to treating parathyroid disease, there's really only one curative option, and that's surgery. There is no curative option through medication. Surgery can be done with a minimally invasive approach and with a high degree of success, especially performed by an expert surgeon. Parathyroid disease can be complicated, and you don't want someone who is unfamiliar with the anatomy or parathyroid disease performing your operation. So why is it important to treat parathyroid disease now instead of waiting? Well, untreated parathyroid disease will lead to progressive bone loss, leading to osteoporosis and eventually fractures. It will lead to progressive kidney damage and eventually lead to kidney failure and potentially dialysis. And untreated parathyroid disease will continue to stress the heart and lead to decreased heart cardiac function and potentially lead to a heart attack or a stroke. In addition, most of the symptoms of parathyroid disease will improve within days of the operation and lead to an increased quality of life. So how do you know if you have parathyroid disease? Who should really be evaluated? Well, anybody with an elevated calcium level should be evaluated for parathyroid disease. The most common cause of an elevated calcium level in the blood is primary hyperparathyroidism. In addition, if you have significant bone loss, kidney stones, or unexplained symptoms such as fatigue, it would be worth discussing with your provider whether parathyroid disease may be the cause. If you want more information on parathyroid disease, please look around the website. There are specific sections about various aspects of parathyroid disease, patient testimonials, frequently asked questions, and blogs. And if you think you have parathyroid disease and would like to connect with us, click the Become a Patient button at the top of the page. And please feel free to share this with anyone that you think this might be useful for. Thank you.